What's up YouTube? I just came back from my locals today. I was uh, playing Zodiac, of course, I'm a sheep, whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I actually ended up winning it and uh, my matchups were round one I played against a, a True King Dino <clears throat> dinosaur player. I beat him 2-0. The first game was really lame, like it was kind of grindy and <clears throat> he just kept summoning babies and got me down pretty low just with babies in like level fours. And then I popped his uh, Dragonic Diagram with the uh, Ghost uh, Ghost Ash. Yeah, and it was, it was a pretty uneventful game. I ended up just winning <clears throat> overtime uh, 2-0. My second, my next two games were both against uh, Light Sworn. Or, uh, the first one was pure Light Sworn, and then the next one was, the next two rather, were uh, Zombie Light Sworn. The pure Light Sworn dude, I beat him 2-0, I believe. Um, the next guy went to game three. He was playing 40 card um, Light Sworn Zombies and with Brilliant Fusion Engine. And then um, my last match was uh, against the Light Sworn 60 card. So it was Light Sworn Zombie Zodiac 60 card concoction. Um, that's actually the kid that usually wins every week. And the chicken fucker tried cheating against me today again. Because he, he tried cheating against me one time before and I caught him and called him out on it. But he tried uh, adding a flying C from his graveyard to his hand and switching it with whatever card he had. And I called him out on it. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm just uh, getting it ready. And like, for what? And dude, you can't do anything with a flying C in your graveyard right now. But yeah, so I caught him trying to cheat against me. But I ended up beating him 2-1. Two, two to one. Uh, Yeah, so here's my 7 packs of the OTS tournament pack 4. So I'll just go ahead and open these up real fast. Hopefully I get something cool. Some dude pulled the ultimate... Uh, Utopia the Lightning, so I'm not really expecting to get any ultis, but it would be nice. So, for your statue, we have the Torrent, Inferno, and DD Swirl Slime. I swear, every weekend, the person that wins like one pack pulls Ultimate Rare. The person that gets the several packs never gets it. DD Oblivion, King Abyss, Ragnarok for a super. Inverse Universe, Coach King, Giant Game tra Trainer, and One Day of Peace. <clears throat> yeah, I figured I'd play Zodiac one more time, because I've only played it once at Locals, so I figured I'd play it one more time before Link's format comes, even though I feel like it's still going to be one of the better decks uh, when Link comes out. So we have a Union Hanger there. Seismic Shockwave. Super Dreadnought, Railkin, and Gustav Max. I didn't even know that came in here. And a Metal Foes of Volflame. Yeah, I think the the Rail Cannon is usually uh, super rare, if I'm not mistaken. We have the Super Anti Kaiju, BES Big Core, GD Swirl Slime, and then last pack. Yeah, I've only won our, my locals three times, and I never get an ultimate rare. Like, like I said, the kids that win one pack are the ones that get all the ultimate rares. Foot top thrasher. So, all right. So that's it for the packs. So I'll go ahead and get into the deck profile. So there's nothing like super innovating in this deck. It's fairly standard for the most part, but like some numbers get switched around. Uh, so we have three Zodiac Whip Tail. It's really fun making the giant ass uh, XZ uh, Zodiac with a bunch of these, you know, uh, zoos under it. Two uh, Thoroughblades. Some people opt to play three. I think two is fine because there's so much stuff in here I already want to fit in, but yeah, try to keep it at 42 maximum. So we have two uh, wrap here, two ram rams. No, I, I don't know. I, I felt like this ratio was pretty fine. I, uh, I'm pretty bad at managing my my zodiac monsters though, like recycling them, and I didn't get to use combo one time today. So uh, I played three ghost uh, ghost ogre and snow rabbit. I love the hand traps. Um, you know, you could just like stop your opponent dead in their tracks when it's their turn and they're going first. Three Ash Blossom, like I said, I love the hand traps, so we, we have uh, seven total and then Max is the last one. So that's it for the monster count, or for the monster lineup. Next for the spells, for our one-ofs, we play one Book of Moon, one Regeki, one Soul Charge. Uh, I didn't really get to resolve this, I think one time today I did. I mean, it's a one-of, so it's not surprising. Two enemy controller. I didn't do too much with this to get day either. There's a lot of cards that I was hoping to actually be able to um, test out to see how good they were, like Shuffle Reborn. Um, 
I only used the first effect to shuffle reborn. I never got to use the second one because I always had a card in my hand that I didn't really want to banish. Uh, two pot of desires. I resolved that card like I think almost every every match, not every duel, but every match at least once I think. Uh, to my body. Um, I wouldn't mind having a third one in here, but like I said, I'm already trying to fit so much stuff in here, like twin twisters. I wouldn't mind a third one of that. It's just a matter of. Uh, and I just I like the hand traps in here, so it's, I just can't fit everything I want. Three barrage, three tanky. Like I said, everything is pretty standard for the most part. So that's all of our spells. And for our trap lineup, <clears throat> one combo, three strikes, and then three D barrier. So it's a 42 card uh, main deck, we'll get into the extra deck. So running 3 Dryden, uh, 2 Broad Bull, 2 Chaka 9. This deck is just ridiculous like how well it recycles its resources and stuff. Uh, 2 Tiger Mortar and then for our 1-0s we have 1 Hammer Kong, 1 Borbo. And the, the MVP for today, since I went against so many graveyard based deck, was Abyss Dweller. I almost went into the Emerald to just draw an extra card, but I opted to go into that uh, turn one. I only won one dice roll today, which was kind of sad, but yeah, this just single handedly won me the games pretty much uh, against the, uh, the Lysorn decks. Well, playing one uh, Emerald. One Tornado Dragon, and then not a lot of people play this. Karen uh, I don't even know how you say this name. Karen Gorgon, Anti Luminescent Knight. I didn't get to, I didn't uh, play that today. Well, I mean, it was in my deck. I didn't actually resolve it today. Uh, it was pretty much just in case I went against like a Zodiac, Pure, or um, True Draco. So you can redirect it, like, you know, the like Dryden or the trap effects or whatnot, or spell effects, whatever. Um, so for our extra deck, or side deck rather, we're playing three Gamma Seal. Um, I sided this a couple times, I never drew it. I, I sided in against the uh, the Lysorn deck because they have, um, they kind of rely on like just like a couple boss monsters, like, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, the Omega. You'd have to, you know, pretty much have, what, what is it? Like priority, I guess. I don't think it's called that in Yu-Gi-Oh. But um, you know, make sure you don't try to like special summon it and like sacrifice the Omega. And they're like, oh no, I'm actually training, or I'm you know using this effect. So, anyways, yeah, I had I, I sided them in. I just never drew them. I, I didn't need to. Uh, and then also for True Draco was uh, two Zafion, the Time Lord. This takes up your normal summon, but in theory, it's really good because you can shuffle their entire back row into their deck. And uh, it's pretty hard to kill. Um, like a whiptail can actually negate this because it's not going to be on the a board uh, if it gets banished. A whiptail under an XZ, anyways. So you got to be careful of that. You want to attack into something that's not going to get rid of uh, Zapion. So that's it for the monsters for my uh, extra deck. For the spells, we have one Forbidden Chalice. This is mostly just for going second. Uh, I'll take out a few traps and then add in um, a lot of spell cards like. Twin Twister, sometimes depending on the deck. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclones, two Dark Holes. These came in almost every time I went second. Um, and then, if I was going first, this was like almost always put in. And then these uh, Imperial Order actually did a lot of work for me today in my last round against the Cheater dude. Um, and then these are for against the Pendulum Magicians. It was actually very heavily represented at my locals, but I didn't play it one time today. Uh, obviously, I played three Minerva and uh, one True King uh, Dino. So there's my deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's all fairly standard, so it's probably a little bit stale. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show off the deck that I won with because I don't win very often, and when I do, you know, I just want to put it out there with what I used and whatnot so just in case anybody else needs you know any like tips or I guess guidance on the Zodiac deck even though there's a million uh, profiles out there so yeah next week is going to be link summoning I have no idea what I'm gonna play I still feel like Zodiac will be very good in that format 
So uh, I'm just going to have to look up some different things and uh, do some testing and see what I like because yeah, it might be some kind of True Draco uh, variant, maybe like True Draco Zoo or something just to start out with because I don't know, I'm not really familiar with the uh, whatever Link uh, archetypes come in the new deck. So yeah, just keep a lookout for that. I'll do some kind of profile and, uh, and probably some replays online uh, for you guys. So. Yep, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can consider subscribing to my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I like to do pack openings all the time. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much any time a new set comes out or, you know, a new, new Yu-Gi-Oh! product comes out, I try to open it up on video for you guys. So, anyways, uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.